good morning my angels so today is the day that i go to the hospital it is early at the moment it's literally about half seven which is so so beyond early for me i'm not feeling the best my hay fever is feeling pretty bad i'm pretty itchy inside and my rash isn't looking too good either i'm also kind of like just sat here like jumper half on half off because i'm a little bit confused about the weather it's meant to be raining today but look so it has been raining but right now it's like bright sunshine so not a hundred percent sure which way to go with so i'm taking a coat i'm taking a jumper i'm taking an umbrella but i'm also taking my fan <laughs> my eyes are also really really sore this morning they were so itchy last night. I was trying not to itch them, but oh my lord, they are so sore. So yeah, I'm not feeling the best today, honestly. I'm really not, but it's only for my own benefit. So it's just one of those things that I just got to bite the bullet and do it. My skin hasn't been the best either this morning. I woke up, went for a wee. I was itching over the back of my legs whilst I was doing my hair and, and on like, my bum cheeks as well. But it's calming down now. It's kind of just like uncomfortable as opposed to pain. But then now I've got a nice allergic reaction around my hairline where I've done my hair. So you guys have asked before to be fair if my gel affects my skin. And it does. It leaves my head stinging and itching for about 30 minutes after I do it which is why I'm trying to get into wearing the wigs and stuff so that I don't have to style my hair every day and go through the pain because it just delays me but for now with my natural hair gel is 100% necessary because my hair is just uncontrollable so yeah I'm gonna go downstairs I'm gonna get something to eat I think and I'm gonna wait for the itching to kind of subside a bit and then I'm gonna make sure that I have everything and I'm gonna get going and be on my way to London. Hi Angel, so the light is really dodgy, I'm sorry, I look literally like an alien. And there's loads of noise where I've parked the car, but I've just got to London, I'm gonna start making my way over to the hospital. So I'm just grabbing my stuff out of my car. Don't forget my phone, I nearly completely forgot my phone then. I will update you, I'm gonna see if Dr. Grattan will let me actually film in the room with him today, but if not, then I'll just do the usual and update you, but I will let you know based on what he lets me do. A nightmare. So so I had my appointment with Dr. Grattan and I got away, I literally nearly got out of the hospital. I was in the pharmacy ready to pick up my new medication and they were like, yeah, he hasn't filled in this one box. So now I've had to walk all the way up the stairs, hence why I'm looking a little bit red. I have my fan on me the whole time because I've literally already had two reactions since I've been in the hospital just from walking up the stairs and getting hot. And the heating's always on in this hospital. But yeah, I'm still waiting to get myself out of here. But I'm feeling positive and when I get back to the car I'm going to update you about what he said. Do you know what guys, British weather is one of the reasons why having this skin condition is so fucking hard because when I left my house this morning, pouring down with rain, so I had to make sure that I had my umbrella, I had to make sure that I had a coat, I've got a jumper in my bag, like literally all of my skin is covered up and now I've left the hospital and it's blaring sun, which again is just as much of a problem because it makes me sweat. So luckily I've got my fan as well, but honestly trying to control my body heat in weather that changes all the time is just ridiculously difficult but yeah it's been a good day all in all i need to go and get something to eat now i'm not sure really where i'm gonna go i'm just outside st thomas's hospital now so i'm gonna make my way back to the car and then i'm gonna find somewhere to go and eat something look at this sun i actually can't even keep my eyes open absolutely gorgeous and i'm in all black love my life we're back we're back we're back we're back, we're back. thank you lord let's go home so successful appointment i managed to speak to dr gratton about how bad my hay fever in general has been and he's given me some ointment which doesn't have any water in it it does cause like a warm burn when you apply it but that's for the rash on my face and then he's also doubled my dose of gabapentin so that's the epilepsy medication that i'm on um he's done that basically because my symptoms have been a lot worse since i've been on gabapentin and i am nowhere near taking 
taken the highest dose of gabapentin. I had originally thought that I was taking quite a high dose, but I wasn't. It turns out that I can take a lot more. So we're trying a bit of a higher dose for the next six weeks or so, just to see what happens and see if I see any improvement. The gabapentin is something that honestly, he never really wanted me to go on anyway, because he didn't think it was gonna help. So I think the aim is just to kind of see it out, make sure that we've done all of the doses that we need to do and get it out of my system basically because I'm very conscious that I just feel like I'm just taking drugs for the fun of it. You should see my medication drawer, it's actually disgusting. Like every morning I wake up, I pop about five pills and I see no benefit and it's just depressing. Like no one wants to be on medication for the rest of their life. And yeah, so I think long term we're gonna try and aim to get myself off of this epilepsy medication because obviously it's strong medication and it's not helping. But like I say, we're gonna see it out. So for now I'm doing a double dose and we'll see if that changes anything. And then I've also got some eye drops as well to help with my itchy eyes from the hay fever. He did say that if I was getting really, really wheezy like off Often from the itching inside my chest then I could have an asthma pump but he said it was kind of based on what I felt that I needed personally I can tell that I'm not asthmatic I just get short of breath sometimes when I'm having an allergic reaction in my chest so there's not much I can do really about that so we're just gonna kind of play it all by ear and see what happens but I just wanted to update you guys really oh and now my mum's calling me let me just talk to her and update her and then I'll be back so mum's off the phone now she wanted to waffle but i'm just about to leave i'm really excited to get home this is the one thing i hate about these trips to london is the fact that they're so tiring for me and it's the fact that they're just so far away so i've still got such a huge drive ahead of me to get home until i can actually relax but we're gonna get through it i'm gonna go and get myself something to eat now before i start feeling a little bit poorly obviously because i've had the reactions whilst i was in the hospital i am just starting to feel kind of drained now a long drive is only gonna add to that so i just want to get it over and done with so yeah i will wrap up the vlog a little bit later on when i'm home but i just wanted to update you whilst it's still fresh in my mind and whilst i'm still here okay so i just stopped and got a mcdonald's i just wanted to check with you guys what you get from mcdonald's because i'm just curious there's two things that i go to i either get the chicken selects and then my other go-to is a double cheeseburger no pickles extra cheese absolute life changer so guys i've literally just arrived home i am so exhausted honestly i feel like i could sleep and not wake up until tomorrow morning and it's only about half three in the afternoon so yeah that is not good i'm gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna have a coffee with my mum now see if that helps to wake me up a little bit and then i'm just gonna chill out and relax for the rest of today and i really just want to get an early night tonight because i'm so tired so yeah i just wanted to jump on just to wrap the vlog up and say goodbye obviously as always i'm gonna keep you guys updated about my medication and what goes on with that and how i'm feeling on that but i just like doing these little hospital vlogs because i feel like it's nice to update you as it happens if you get me so yeah make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more hospital vlogs thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video